what what was that? Oh yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh look little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. <sighs> if only we could live there. <laughs> what is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. That filthy creep. I ate him. Get around for the sale oh, of the he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. Oh, have you seen that thing over there? We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Oi, kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off the exact direction. So, we're through the alley by that bloke with a picture box. But for box. now, let's find some more money. I love you more than 
words can... It's a good day when you get strong armed by two yeah, little kids, I'll tell you. No words. Oh, Monty. Relatives with a lifelike instant image. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? <laughs> you can, you shove, can it. shove it. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. He takes us for fools. Hmm, that was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was oh, just plain nasty, I'm afraid. But I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. That was fun. And we've got our first gold coin. The alley the warrants blew down. No, we should take a look. Come on! Rick's caught a dog and he's gonna kick ha! the crap out of You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him, though. So stupid. I like playing to this. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. What? I like playing with later. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. It's... Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warren.
Yes, another warren. Hmm. I don't think they'll miss this meal. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer, if those hideous vermin never can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the beetles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. The Nickname's behalf. Yeah! Smash him up! Gold! Good one! <laughs> Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. Oh, I'm ruined. My stock is destroyed. You're not children. You're monsters. You're no better than those savage, vile beetles that are still in my warehouse. That was a lot. Getting paid to smash things up. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. That's the bottle talking. Well then, get it back for me so I can tell it to shut up. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff and it's all stolen from bodified tramps, like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. So you bring me back my bottle? Yes! Let's find this magpie guy. That ma Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take Let's go you. collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. No, I'm your friend. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon! Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Hand it over! Don't, he's trying to quit. Hold it! 
What you bang this in there for? This must be yours. Ah, I've got it! You should be ashamed of yourself. He looks happy. Suppose that's what matters, isn't it? And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the box. There's that dog again. Now, let's find the rest of those warrants. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. around here somewhere. Your mother is an accursed cow. What? I didn't hear you. I said your mother is an accursed cow. You say something, Belinda. Oh, no, it was just a town crier, mother. one there. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. Hey, it's my favourite couple of kids. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. If you want the money right now, you could give him the warrants. Now you're talking, girl. On the other hand, he's scum. Oh, stop. You're going to make me break down weeping. I knew you'd come through for me. See you around, kids. I do hate him. But you're right. We've got to get our gold quickly, before someone else buys the music box. And we've got four gold coins. We just need one more. I'm sorry, my love. You'll have to be quieter than that. Can you find a happy medium? Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. There is... Filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with... 
with you. Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Without true love, what else have we got in this world? Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother, but she'll pay us if we just wait here. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. I know I left it here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Thank you, post girl. Marry my daughter? Over my dead body! Where is he? <laughs> That's hilarious. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. How dare you propose to my daughter? Guards! I want to report a pervert. Um, it's not what you think. I, uh, I wrote the letter for you. What? Yes, I couldn't hide my feelings any longer. I knew you'd get the hint when I called you an animal. Now, show me you're an animal. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. 
All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. Oh, all right, uh, settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow, wake up. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young ladies. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, huh, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it. And we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I am working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. Wow! 
What's that? Nothing to worry about. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Death is not your destiny today, little sparrow. 